Vander, spent, defeated, in agonizing pain, was on the verge of collapse. He was rushed to the hospital, where he was given fluids for dehydration and morphine for the shoulder pain. In the course of the examination, doctors discovered a problem in Evander's heart. My nephews and my trainer, them, got tears in their eye. They thinking I'm getting ready to die. Evander was airlifted to the heart treatment center at Emory University. X-rays showed that Evander had an undiagnosed heart ailment. He had fought his entire career with a condition that restricted the flow of oxygen through his body. He has a condition known as a non-compliant left ventricle. Advised by doctors never to fight again, Evander announced his retirement in April of 94. I still got money. And I'm still gonna live good. The only thing I gotta do now is find out what else God want me to do. He found the answer two months later at a Christian revival meeting. The preacher was the controversial faith healer, Benny Hinn. I go see Benny Hinn, Benny Hinn tell me I'm healed. Benny Hinn said, go back to the doctor. Tell the doctor, check you again. The Lord is telling you right now, he is repairing Holyfield's heart completely. They checked me and said, you know, if anybody can live to 100 years old, you can. Well, you want to call it a miracle, a spiritual happening, however you term it. You know, it happened, and it's real. I'm sure Vander really believes that God healed him, and who am I to say God didn't heal him? At that same church, Evander met and fell in love with a beautiful young doctor named Janice Itson. She had told him that, you know, she was an evangelist and, and that she had a direct line with God. Great education, had goals. She told me how she wanted kids to be. Janice was there as Evander faced yet another devastating family crisis. In March of 96, his beloved mother Annie was fatally injured in a car accident on her way home from church. To lose any family member is a very, very tough thing. But to lose your mother, um, it's, it's unimaginable. I thank God he gave us a grace period of her being in a coma for, you know, two weeks. Evander truly believed his mother was in heaven, and that gave him great comfort. Evander pushed the tragedy behind him and got back into the ring. After five years, Mike Tyson was out of prison. The showdown between the sport's most recognizable stars could finally take place. People felt that Tyson, as a puncher, was still the most dangerous guy on the planet. Evander pushed his body to the limit. Despite being a 25 to one underdog, he entered the ring composed and confident. He said, Jim, it's all done. I just need to go in there and pick up the belt on Saturday night, but it, it's, it's over, you can relax. On November 9th, 1996, Evander Holyfield shocked the world. He knocked out Mike Tyson and joined Muhammad Ali as the only three-time heavyweight champion. Now, he had beaten everybody in his era that anybody thought was any good. He could not win another fight, and it wouldn't really matter. His place in boxing should be secure. Just a month before the fight, Evander had hastily married Janice, a decision that didn't sit well with those close to him. Janice was very uh, aggressive towards Evander, winning his loyalty, having him to believe in her and only her. My reaction was one of great concern. The marriage was so surprising. The greater surprise would come in the rematch with Mike Tyson. Little had changed in the eight months since the original bout. Facing a second humiliating loss, Tyson responded with the infamous bite. It's a shark bite right there. Tyson was disqualified, and the fight assumed a unique place in boxing history. I'm beginning more and more to believe but God just to bite you. And I jumped up, not like anger, but it was a disappointment. It was almost like, why would you do this? This is the most unbelievable spectacle I have ever seen. It still today seems unreal. 
I get chills just thinking about it. He had defeated Mike Tyson, but Evander was still no match for his most formidable foe. I'm not judging you, but we've been taught that marriage first, then children. If I had to do it again, I have not, but I have one person. After plastic surgery, Evander returned home to start a new life with his new wife, Janice. It was a rocky reunion. All the tangible things that you think is great without love, it's nothing. In September of 98, Janice gave birth to the couple's first child. A week later, Evander publicly admitted that he had fathered two other children with two other women in the past year. You had Evander in a marriage that was disintegrating, and you had uh, two women who loved him and wanted to be with him, and he let that go too far. Evander's infidelity remained a consistent problem. He had now fathered five children out of wedlock. I never, ever wanted to have kids out of wedlock. By golly, it's time to grow up, you know, either you get a vasectomy or or whatever. At the end of the day, you're still my brother, but you need to know. I don't care who you are. You're the heavyweight champion of the world. That's not right. That's not how we grew up. Including three children from his first marriage, Evander now has nine in total. You know, if I had to do it again, I have nine, but I have one person. Evander regularly sees and supports all of his children. And since his divorce from Janice, he continues to search for that one perfect love. I want to be that husband. That, that a marriage lasts. So when I get married next time, it'll be forever, not just for a stormy moment. As for his career, Evander longs to exit a champion. But those closest to him worry that the price of that pursuit will be greater than the reward. Maybe it's his ego. Maybe he's listening to the wrong people. But if he's listening to his heart, he shouldn't be fighting. He set a goal, he wants to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, so I'd like to see him make that happen. I would hate to see him hurt in the ring more than anything. It would be devastating, but I would equally hate to see him spend the next 50 years wondering whether he could have done it if he hadn't stopped, and I think that would hurt him more. While his boxing future may be uncertain, his legacy is indisputable. Out of the ring, Evander's personal fight continues. Though often disappointed in his own decisions, he wages a constant battle to make himself a better man. Mistakes you gonna make, but that don't mean that you, you don't supposed to correct it. Everything that ever I fell short, I hope came. I'm always willing to change.